Live from the world's capital markets, here are the latest financial headlines brought to you by BYOB Trading Academy. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Financial Digest. The dollar index fell to its lowest in more than two months, continuing a drop from the prior week, as investors largely believe the US Federal Reserve has completed its interest rate hike cycle and look towards when the central bank may start to cut rates. Russia admitted that its economy was on the brink of ruin last year, but it's claiming now that it has beaten sanctions and is on track for strong growth this year, despite economists' projections in light of persistent restrictions on its economy. European shares were subdued after a strong week, driven by aggressive bets on interest rate cuts, with drugs to pesticides group Bayer sliding to a more than 14-year low and weighing on the healthcare sector and Germany's benchmark index. The dollar-yen pair plummeted 1% in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin-dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, rising 0.2%. The Williams indicator indicates an overbought market. The gold-dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, gaining 0.1%. The ultimate oscillator is giving a positive signal. The oil dollar pair gained 1.7% in the last session after rising as much as 2.8% during the session. The stochastic RSI indicates an overbought market. The US Chicago Fed National Activity Index will be released at 1330 GMT. The US Red Book Index at 1355 GMT. The US existing home sales at 1500 GMT. Finland's unemployment rate will be released at 0600 hours GMT. The UK's public sector net borrowing at 0700 hours GMT. Australia's RBA meeting minutes at 0 hundred hours and 30 minutes GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Tuesday's financial report. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.